نحمد و نسلی علی رسول الکریم اما بعد ایز یو نو وی شیل بی اسٹارٹنگ ٹو ڈے ود دی لاسٹ سیکشن آف سورت القحف اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم افحسب الذین کفروا ان یتخذوا عبادی من دونی اولیاء انا اعتدنا جہنم للکافرین نزلا قل هل ننبئوکم بالاقصرین اعمالا الذین ضل سعیہم فی الحیات الدنیا وهم يحسبون انہم يحسنون السمعا صدق اللہ العظیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری وحل لقدتا من لسانی یفقہ قولی اللہم ربنا الہمنا رشدنا و عزنا من شرور انفسنا اللہم آرن الحق حقا ورزقنا اتباعه وارن الباطل باطلا ورزقنا استنابه آمین یا رب العالمین It's a common principle in the Quran that in the various surahs, the ayat which appear in the beginning and the ayat with which the surah ends, they are most profound, most profound. Same is the case with Surah Al-Kahf also. And that is why we find traditions and sayings of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Whosoever will keep reading and reciting the ayat in the beginning of Surah Al-Kahf and the ayat with which the surah ends, he will be saved from the fitna of Dajjal. So these ayat have a special effect. And because, you know, in the beginning also we found the central ayat was إِنَّا جَعَلْنَا مَا عَلَى الْأَرْضِ زِينَةَ اللَّهَا لِنَبْلُوَهُمْ أَيُّهُمْ أَحْسَنُ عَبَلَا And I noted it last night that twice again this word zinat appears. وَلَا تَعْدُ عَيْنَاكَ عَنْهُمْ تُرِيدُ زِينَةَ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا الْمَالُ وَالْبَنُونَ زِينَةُ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا So the central idea is that this world is very beautiful. And as man is advancing in technology, the beauty of this world is becoming more and more. It's more and more attractive, more and more awful. So now man is loving this world more and more. And this is the only test to which we have been put in this world. This is this life of this world. خَلَقَ الْمَوْتَ وَالْحَيَاةَ لِيَبْلُوَكُمْ أَيُّكُمْ أَحْسَنُ عَمَلًا He has created life and death. So as to test you, who amongst you is the doer of the good deeds? And this is the crucial matter. Whether you love this world or you love Allah and the hereafter. If we fail in this, if we are fully devoted to this world, then we fail in the akhirah. And if we have fixed our priority, our priority number one is that world and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is only a journey. We are passing by it. As the Prophet said, Kun fi dunya ka anna ka gharibun aabir sabil. You should live in this world as if you are some stranger or a traveler. That's all. This is not your house. This is not your home. Your home is actually Akhira. Now in the end also you find, <coughs> first of all, the denunciation of the shirk. Mostly the shirk in this world has been that people have adopted as gods and goddesses according to their own imagination, the daughters or sons of Allah. The some of the Jews said, Uzair is son of Allah. So we must worship him. And you know Christianity is based on this principle, the, big, the only begotten son of God. And he is the God real. That Asmani God, you know, the God in heaven, the Father, heavenly Father, he is not very important, really important is Jesus. He is the real God. In the same way, the Mushrikeen of Arab, they had the idea that these angels are daughters of Allah. <coughs> and that is why they had their deities with the feminine names. Manat, Lat, Uzza, these are feminine names. So, here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, 
افاسب الزین کفر و عبادی من دنیا لیا اینڈ وائی ڈو دیز مشرقین ورشپ دیز اسمال گاڈس اینڈ گاڈ دے تھنک دیٹ دے ول انٹرسیڈ آن دیئر بہاف آن دی ڈے آف ججمنٹ دے ول بی ایبل ٹو سیو دوز پیپل ہو لو دیم فرام دی اکاؤنٹیبلٹی آف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی سو دس از دیئر رانگ آئیڈیا اللہ سے اف حسب الزین کا فرو سو دین دوز ہو ہیو ڈس بلیوڈ دے تھنک آئی یت خزو عبادی من دنیا اولیا that they can make my servants my bondsmen as their protectors against me jesus i created him i sent him as a messenger now will he protect these people against me against my questioning malaika they are my creation they are my bondsmen will they intercede on their behalf اگینسٹ می اف حسب الزین کفر و یتخذ عبادی من دونی اولیا ان عتدنا جہنم علیل کافرین نزولا فار سچ ڈس بلیورس اینڈ ریجیکٹرز آف دی فیتھ وی ہیو آلریڈی پریپیئرڈ ہیل فار دیئر انٹرٹینمنٹ اینڈ ہاسپیٹیلٹی ناؤ دی کرکس آف دی میٹر آف صورت القحف الحل نب حکم بل اکثرین عمالا سے او محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم should we inform you who are the greatest losers regarding their deeds and endeavors in this world everybody is working hard from dawn to sunset rather late night people are working 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 running running to this direction running to that direction but what is the goal what is the aim now if all this running and all this endeavor and all this striving is for this world it means they are lost they are gum according to the saying of iqbal kafir ki ye pehchan ke afaq mein gum hai they have been lost in this world qul hal nunabbiukum bil aksarina amala say to them shall we inform them who are the greatest losers in their striving in this world and after this question the answer allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving himself الذين ضل سعيهم في الحياه الدنيا those whose endeavor is wasted for this world only all their time all their working all their exertions day and night for this world as if they are lost their striving their endeavors they are lost الذين ضل سعيهم في الحياة الدنيا وهم يحسبون أنهم يرسلون الصنعة and they think that they are going very good performance well my business is flourishing but I have put in labor in it hard work and the result I am having my business is flourishing I am shining in my career in my profession so they are contented that what they are they are endeavoring they are getting the results But the reality is, Ulaikallazina kafaru be ayat rabbihi. They are the people who have disbelieved the revelations of their Lord. Allah says that is the real life, not this. This is only a temporary abode. You have to leave it. If not today, tomorrow. If not tomorrow, day after. That's all. Nobody says that he can live in this world forever. He has to leave. So, They may be saying that we believe in Quran. But if all their efforts are focused and lost for this world, then actually they don't believe in Quran. Quran says the real life is that, not this one. So you are belying Quran by your action, by your attitude. And they have denied that they will have to meet him, meet their Lord. فَحَبِتَ تَعْمَالُهُمْ For all their good deeds which they might have done. They have all gone in vain. فَلَا نُقِيمُ لَهُمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ وَزْنَا And we are not going to assign any weight to them on the day of resurrection, on the day of judgment. Such people also do some good deeds to, to satisfy their conscience. Well, I am all very busy in this world affair, but 
I am birthing, but I am giving some charity also. I am doing that business also. That, you know, public service work also I am doing. No, these things. Unless your goal is akhirah, unless you devote yourself for the most of your personality and your time and your energies and your means for akhirah, for the pleasure of Allah, you are doomed. Zalika jazahum jahannam. They are the people whose reward is going to be the hell. Bema kafaru. Due to the rejection of the faith. But takhadu ayati wa rasuli hozua. And they took my revelations and my messengers in mockery. What is he saying? That is the real life. Or oh, real life is this. Babar bayas kosh ke alam dubara ni is. This is the life. Enjoy as much as you can. Because there is not going to be another life. Babar bayas kosh. Try to have as luxuries as you can have. Alam dubara ni is. This life will not come to you again. So avail the best of it. That is actually. Babar had said so. We are doing according to that. Our whole life pattern is absolutely on that basis. <laughs>